that was the last fish of the trip. I'm pissed. Triple A in the house. What's up? I got Big JD with me as usual, but in the background there, who dat? Who dat? That's Richie in DC. What up, Rich? We are caravanning flotilla style today. Flotilla style today in the uh, Minn Kota for the uh, exit run. Yep. Triple A in the house. Huge fish. Get ready, Donnie. All right, that's it. Look at that thing. Beautiful. Tilt him. Look at that. Oh, my God. All right. Yeah, so that was on a Twitch with the new style that Nick told me about. Can you film and grab the net? Yeah. Boy, look at this. Are you filming this? It's real chrome. He's filming. It's real chrome. Are you kidding me? Oh, you want me to get ready? So it is a hatchery. So that was on the Twitch with the new method that Nick showed me. This fish is absolutely gorgeous. Chrome bright. On the twitch, look at the jig in the mouth. See the jig in the mouth? Right in the top of the beak. Yeah. All right, hand me that bat. All right. Keep Turning me on to kind of just a different method that's been working for us. We're still running bumpers with a uni knot. Sorry, you can't see that for you. There we go, double uni. And um, also, like Nick said, we've been finding the fish in faster, medium depth water. But we keep getting sucked into these pods that are jumping in soft water, chasing after them. We've hooked a couple doing that. Good stuff. So basically, he's just got a, a bass fishing method. He pretty much doesn't stop reeling. His twitching is side to side, up and down. And um, he's hooked several fish doing that. Really nice, uh, fast, speedy way to trigger an aggression strike. Like that crummer you saw us land. Triple A in the house. Fish jumping in here, as you can see. Can't help but see that stuff, huh? Pretty cool. So cool. Like a That's neat. All right, well, uh, the people that raise the water uh, made sure to do their job today and raised the water. It was 1,200 CFS earlier. Um, even when I caught that fish, it was still lower, but we noticed some wood and some debris coming down. Pretty soon, our boat got hit with a log, which lodged itself underneath. And as soon as we got internet access down here in the lower river, we checked and saw that the river was at 
nearly 4,000 CFS and climbing, so you wouldn't be able to tell really, but you can maybe you can see the water has turned brown. So we've just buttoned everything up and we're headed to the ramp. Pretty sweet day though, with the twitch. Triple A in the house. We just had a sea lion pop up in front of us. So, oh, there he is. Let's see if you can, probably can't see, but the amount of sediment and weeds in the water is insane.